Okay, hi. I'm in my office now and I've finished putting together my client for the GPS drawing assignment. And I'm gonna walk through kind of a lightweight version of what I expect from you guys. Uh, so you can kind of see what the process is and maybe give you a little bit more insight to how the, I expect the system architecture would work uh, for your program. Uh, ultimately, what you're trying to do is trying to draw a picture with GPS. And remember, you're not turning in a client to me. What I'm gonna be getting is a picture that you drew from our server. So the exact details of how the client work is up to you guys to make it work and to have a user interface that you like for this assignment. Next assignment will, might be a little bit different. Um, so I'm gonna show you how mine works and so you can see the architecture for it and you can see kind of what I'm expecting. So my client's built and uh, the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna plan out the route that I'm gonna take uh, so that I can record uh, this GPS traces and then we'll walk through the diagram a little bit. Okay, here's the app that I put together. It's called Let's GPS Draw up here. So when I open it up, the first thing that happens is it builds the UI. And my UI consists of several pieces, a text view for capturing the group name, a text view for grabbing the drawing name, a button here that um, is one of the toggle buttons that's available. I have three sliders to set the color. Then I have a pos uh, text field here that's just outputting the position that the device currently thinks it's at. And I have a buffer size here that's showing me how many points I've collected so far and it's waiting to be uploaded. And then I have an upload button that will upload all the data when necessary. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to decide what my group name is for the purposes of doing this demo for the, for the map. And we'll say group, uh, call it group name. spell it right, name, demo. Okay, now when I do this, uh, nothing is happening inside my code. It's just updating the text field. At some point in the future, after I hit a button, I may go find out what that text field has in it. Um, when my view was created, I captured a reference to the text fields so that I could later access them uh, when I needed to know what text was actually written in there. So group name demo, drawing name demo, great. And then I'll shrink the keyboard. All right, I can see that I'm getting my locations here because every second it's updating a little bit. So my, uh, my location information has connected and is working okay, the callbacks are going all right. And then for me, I'm gonna set my RGB values here using these sliders. Um, and my first track, according to my map, was yellow. So I'm going to set it to yellow, and you can see that this toggle button, the background changes whenever these uh, sliders are dragged, so it's R, G, and B. My background button says up, and then when I hit the button, it's going to say down. It'll start, when, the, when it's down, I have a callback that'll set a variable that says the button's down, and if that variable is set to down, then whenever I get a position, in, whenever I get a callback uh, from the Android operating system telling me that a new position is available, if the button is down, then I add it to the stroke manager and I update the UI showing that the information has changed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this outside, walk around and collect my data. All right. Okay, I'm halfway around the ring road. If you look at my interface here, you can see that the pen is down and I'm recording a bunch of points. Looks like so far I've gotten about 25, 26 points. Uh, a little worried about that because it doesn't seem like that's enough points given how far I've been walking. We'll suspend our disbelief briefly. Uh, there's something going on in the middle of the park today, so I might not be able to do my plan exactly 
as I want it to. We'll see how it goes.